Good evening, 47. All right, love. Your target calls himself Mr. Giggles and operates an underground circus called the Soiree Horrible. Attractions include animal fights, deadly blood sports, and other choreographed violence. You will need to locate him on the ground and engage at your discretion. He should be simple enough to spot at least. The client requires that in addition to eliminating the target, you also acquire his client list. Given the target's personality, he is unlikely to manage such matters himself, so you will need to discover its location on site. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Good evening, 47. The target arrived several hours ago for a meeting with a local friend. All right, guys, how's it going? Somewhere in the city center. We've been unable to discover this. Can you shout, love? I'm trying to do an intro here. I advise you to look for a higher than usual security. Yeah, no, you've right, good, good hunting. Right, good, right. All right, guys, and welcome back to Hitman. I've not played Hitman in quite a while. I think uh, the last time I played it was the last video I did, which, if you've not watched it already, The Priest of Death, you should go and watch it, because, well, the, uh, the assassination was quite quite unexpected and uh, amazing. Quite amazing, frankly. Anyway, if you've uh, if you've not watched that, I'll leave a little annotation in the top corner so you can uh, click on that and go watch that. And as for now, we're in Marrakesh. We're here to find Mr. Giggles. That's correct. Mr. Giggles. We need to find him and we need to kill him. This is an elusive target, which means that if I fail... Well, basically, if I die... I fail the mission and I can't try again. So hopefully this video is longer than like 30 seconds. And if I kill or complete any of my objectives, then I can't restart. So I have to commit to whatever I'm doing. So basically, we have no idea where Mr. Giggles is, but we have to find him somewhere in Marrakesh. So I think we're just going to have to wander around and uh, see if we can spot him. Apparently... He's quite easy to spot. He's got a big, like, face tattoo or at least some sort of makeup on his face. So we need to find him and kill him. We also need to find his list of clients, I believe, which, uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we need to find his guest list. Right, okay, we need to find his guest list and we need to find and kill Mr. Giggles, which, as you can see, he's quite distinctive, so hopefully we should find him quite easily. Right, well, I've not found him yet, and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure the bit that I spoke over and wasn't really paying any attention to at the very start was actually quite important, and, uh, yeah, well, I just spoke over the top of it and didn't pay any attention to it, so, but we're committed, we're going to have to find him, so, uh, I'll just continue running around until I have spotted him. Oh, I'm not that interested, wow, wait a minute, look at the size of those melons. Basically, we're looking for some lad in a bowler hat with a shit ton of face tattoos. Surely he can't be that hard to find. Yeah, there's a key card over there. I really need to get in and get that key card. Um, see, I'm, I'm thinking he's going to be in there. Oh, the keys for the delivery truck. I'm pretty sure that's only to get away, so I'm not really sure that's necessary or useful at this moment in time, but it might be quite useful once we've... Uh, found the guy we're trying to kill. Still no closer to working out where this bloody Mr. Giggles is. Surely you should be able to hear him before you see him. Got a random guy just standing in the middle of... Yeah, I'm gonna leave him. He seems a bit lost. He seems a bit out of it, to be honest. I think he's, uh... been on the, uh, the hashish for a bit too long. Anyway, we'll, like, leave him to whatever he's contemplating. I really need it in here, because there's a key card sitting on that table over there. Random squat. There's a key card sitting on that table over there, and I want it. Because if I can get it, then I can get in here, which is exactly where I think that guy is. If you could... Yeah, if you could just give me that key card over there, please. Well, fuck you then. Just ignore me. Aha, I think I've just remembered. You can get in around here. So if they're not paying attention... Right, thank you. Back out. There we go. Shut up. Professionally done. Not even seen, well, apart from that guy that saw us coming out. Yes, I'm aware of that. Now here's my invite. Thank you. And we're in. Right. 
Alright, he'd better be in here. See if he's not in here. He's not here. I just spent all that time trying to get a bloody keycard to get in here because I assumed that this being the hive of activity that it is, the entertainer would be nearby, but apparently he's not. So back out we go and we're back to square one. We now need to search the entirety of Marrakesh yet again for this Mr. Giggles. Excuse me, people. Have you uh, have you seen a random lad with like a face tattoo called Mr. Giggles? He's an absolute laugh. He's he's the hilari most hilarious person you've ever met in your life. That'll be a no. That's him. That is him. One hundred percent. That is him. Right. Okay. He's up on this roof. So I need to somehow get into this building without getting spotted. I have a feeling there's a way in from around here, but it may be very obvious to people. No, okay, there's definitely not a way in from around here. Right, must be the other side. I'm sure I remember there being a way you can like climb across roofs and get into this place. Right, I'm going to try and get in this building and see if uh, there's a way up from in here. Right, if you folk could clear it off and I could then pick the lock on this door. Today, sir. Thank you. Now fuck off. Away you go. Right, nobody spot me. Nobody spot me. Right, I'm in. We are into a building, so I have no idea if I can get from this building to the other building, but we'll find out. Oh god, there's a guy with a gun right there. Right. Now, give me all your clothes and your motorcycle. Well, maybe not your motorcycle, but at least your clothes. Yeah, see, I can get... How do I get across there? From down there somewhere. Okay. Let's climb up here. Right, okay. If you could just, uh not look this way mate, that would be very nice. Okay, he's looking this way. Jesus Christ. Okay, he's turned back. Now, we need to work out the best way to kill this guy. Right, can you hurry up with this lads? I don't really need... I just need to like poison his drink or something. Or just put a bullet through his head. One or the other. Okay, we'll get rid of this guy. Maybe time for another coin. Just there. Just you shut your mouth, mate, and just don't do that. Turn off. That was close. I almost just attracted everybody around here to the uh, <laughs> the unconscious bodyguard by mistake. Kind of want to kill him, like in an interesting way, but at the same time, I just kind of want to kill him. Oh, is he coming up here? He's coming up here. What have I got? Absolutely fuck all. Wonderful. Right. Well, hey, what's up? for God's sake, his bloody butler is coming with him. He's not paying any attention, though. Cheerio! Cheerio! Well, that was unfortunate. Right. I'll just uh, wander around here. I wonder where your uh, Mr. Giggles went, Mr. Butler. I like how these guys are completely just... They don't care the fact that the guy that they're up here to defend, <laughs> they're to like protect, has just disappeared completely. Casually vault this wall. Good. Right. And we're out. Oh, oh, right. Good. That was close. That was very close. But we have made it out. And Mr. Giggles is now deed. Deeder than a doorknob, or nail, or whatever the saying is. All we have to do now is somehow find his guest list, which again, I have absolutely no idea where it'll be. I'd imagine it's probably on his body, so let's go and have a look at that first and see if he'll uh, if he had it on him. I pushed him off the roof up there. Right, so I, I'm thinking his body's now gone. Yeah, his, his body is between these two walls, so if it was on his body, we're not getting it back. Right, so I really hope <laughs> that it's not on his body. Right. So he doesn't have it, but somebody else near him has it, so we're going to go back up to that roof and kill, well, knock out everybody else and see if they've got it on them. This is quite the workout. The up Shut up, mate. You've got no idea what I'm doing. And it's none of your business, quite frankly. I would think I would have cottoned on to the fact that somebody's throwing money around the place when you just keep walking around all you hear is just, like, coins dropping everywhere. Wear disguise? Well, I've got a gun on my back, which is probably not the best of ideas to uh, carry that around whilst disguised as a waiter. 
or a butler as I called him earlier, but this guy doesn't give a fuck now about me, so I can uh, wander straight up to him. Subdue the shit out of this boy. Now, did you have the key card Or the guest list? That'll be a no. That will be a no. So it wasn't him. Right, so I'm just going to basically have to wander around now. Knocking out everybody who looks remotely close to being associated with this Mr. Giggles. And see if they've got a key card on them. Or pickpocket them, maybe, perhaps, if that's possible. Alright, lads. What kind of establishment do you think this is? Can you... Do you think you're big enough to have 16 tables, love? Do you see 16 tables? Do you even see a table? Well, there's a table there. Do you see a table number two? Never mind table number bloody 16. Well, if you honestly, get your head out your arse. You're not that big. Anyway. Frankly, I have absolutely no idea who's going to have this. Take a meat cleaver. It's probably not a good idea, given that there's an army man standing right beside it. Where the fuck could this be? Unless one of those two guys has got it. Does somebody on the roof over here maybe have it? The roof I was up earlier, when I got the uh, the bodyguard uniform. Ah! Well, they could see right through my, uh, my outfit. Alright, just you investigate, mate. Just you investigate. Don't... Oh, buggery, buggery fuck. Oh god. Oh god. Right, okay. I think the uh, the waiter might need to be dealt with as well. Right, okay, that's that guy dealt with. So, ignore that mess. So apparently he didn't have the key card, the, uh, if you think it's a key card, the, uh, the guest list. So who the fuck has it? See, it tells me that there's a that Mr. Giggles won't have had it on him, but one of his entourage will be carrying it. It seems highly unlikely that the target would deign to concern himself with such things. So someone else in his entourage must be dealing with this. Expect the guest list to be stored in electronic format, most likely a PDA. Blah, blah, blah. Right. So basically, somebody else has it, but I have absolutely bugger all clue who that somebody is, and I've already brutally knocked out everybody who's uh, over on the rooftop where he was, so he must be around here. Okay. Oh. Fuckity fuck. Right, run away, run away. You know, I'm gonna go back and get my bodyguard uniform. Oh, fuck. God damn. Right, okay. Let's just get my other uniform and hide in here. Well, that could have gone better. Right, I'll see if I can knock this guy out when he goes past. He had a gun, but no guest list. This is... God damn. The guy did a front flip. He just did a front flip. Well, that is literally everybody that was on the same building that he is that looks like they could be in any way associated with him dead, well, or knocked out and none of them have the guest list hey, what's up? Balls You saw nothing I really need to be more careful about walking around people Right, I, I still think that the data is going to be in there I think something is going to be in there Unlock the back door to the cafe I kind of want, like, a waiter disguise, but if I turn this off, will the waiter come in? I think the waiter that spotted me earlier is about to come in here, so if we take him out, then we don't have to worry about getting spotted by anyone either. Subdue the fuck out of you! Give me your clothes. Again, I've got a fucking... I've got damn. Oh, right, thank Christ for that. There was somebody coming. Somebody else was coming to uh, turn the lights back on. So we're now inside the cafe. And I'm pretty sure that whatever we're looking for will probably be here. For instance, this lassie has a tablet. 
So that's basically what we're looking for, is a, some sort of electronic device. Like, this guy's got one as well. See, any of these people could be... Any of these people could be the people we're looking for. Look, so many folk with tablets and shit. Her tablet's not turned on. Yet she's trying to use it. This, this woman seems a bit stupid to me, so... I honestly, I've got no idea. Right, I'm going to try and get that woman over there, see if she'll come this way. No, this woman's decided that it's hard business to go in with this. Oh, is she coming? She's investigating. Right. Everybody who's got a, a tablet, I'm just going to take them out. Hide you! Even if you had absolutely nothing to do with this. Right, and that was a resounding no, she didn't have anything to do with this. I honestly have no idea where this guest list is. Are you possibly the one with it? Alright, let's try again. Alright, we've got a bodyguard coming this time. Alright, we've got nowhere to hide this person either, so we're just going to have to start piling bodies up around here. Right, so this is this is really starting to annoy me. Who could possibly have this? Where could it be? Fuck it, I'm googling it. I'm actually going to google this, because I have no idea. Literally no idea where or who could have this guest list or whatever it is. Right, so I've googled it, and the person we're trying to uh, find is literally standing right in front of me. This I, I wasn't far away, I took the person out with the tablet, but apparently this is the one that we have to take out. So, she drinks from a champagne glass over here, which I am going to poison once she's stopped drinking from it, and then we'll take her out. Can't believe, I was so close to it. I thought like the women over there with the tablet would have been maybe it, or th there's people in there as well, but it's just this random woman. And at no point, apart from where she was just standing next to us, does she ever pull out her phone. But apparently... Just, uh, she just witnesses me as I uh, poison her drink. Alright, okay, so this is basically what should have happened and what should have alerted me to the fact that it's hard, but this is the first time I've witnessed that. So, right, if you could go away and drink your uh, perfectly acceptable and in no way spiked champagne over there, come over here, throw your guts up into this toilet, and I'll, uh, well, I'll plonk you over the back of the head or something like that. So if you could do that, that'd be quite nice. Oh, mate. The glory hole. The glory hole. Right, uh, well, it's a bit high for a glory hole. It's like a giant's glory hole, although it's a bit small as well for a glory hole. So anyway, where the, where the fuck's she gone? She's over there. <laughs> Just a dead guy lying in the room behind. Go and drink your beckon champagne women. Not got all day. Right, she's finally made it to the champagne. There we go. Right, she's on her way. She is right. Now, hopefully this is actually the correct woman, so if we just uh, close the door. Right. Yes. Done. Right. Just hide this as well. Let's, let's escape via the truck that we found the keys for at the very start of this. Oh, look at this. Absolutely bad boy of a ride we're about to get. Yes. And we're off. Look at him. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he almost killed a bloody soldier on the way out! Nevertheless, we have managed to kill Mr. Giggles. And it is done. We didn't get a rating, apparently. Because I think... I don't know what it is, but the game is running extremely low, to, low, slow tonight connecting to the servers. But, nevertheless, Mr. Giggles is deed. And we've stolen his guest list for whatever that matters. But we managed to do it eventually after killing about half the people in the cafe. And, uh, yeah. Pretty successful. More successful than a lot of my missions I do on Hitman, but if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe as well. And if you haven't already, go check out my other Hitman videos. I've got the uh, the Priest of Death, which I mentioned at the start, which is very good. And I can't remember who we were trying to kill in the first one, but it was the uh, it was a, this was the one it was in Paris, but I don't think it was the one that was actually the Paris mission. I can't remember who we were trying to. Kill. Oh, it was the Christmas one. It was the Christmas one. It was the uh, Merry Death Miss. So if you've not checked those out, then uh, I'll leave annotations and stuff for that so you can go and find them. And yeah, 
that's pretty much everything that's going to happen. So yeah, if you've uh, I've already said if you've enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe as well. If not, then uh, screw you. And uh, yeah, the people who did enjoy the video, I'll catch you again at some other point. So until then, cheerio. Yeah.